Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week fall. And today in this video, I'm going to do an updated top 11 Fairly Odd Parents episodes. So this list ended up being so big that I had to make a... I had more episodes of the Fairly Odd Parents that I liked that I had to make a second video. And I already did a top 10, top 11 Fairly Odd Parents episodes video, which I'll link down below if you didn't see, as well as my top 10 Fairly Odd Parents characters. And I like so many episodes of this show. I love this show so much. So I thought it would be fun to do another top 11 Fairly Odd Parents episode. So I'm so excited to do this because I love this show. It's so funny. So oh, I'm going to get started. So number one on my list would have to be the same game. I like this episode because um, Timmy he gets treated badly because he's different and not perfect. So he wishes everybody looked exactly the same, which kind of causes a hassle because Cosmo and Wanda can't find Timmy anywhere. And everybody in the world is... Um, big giant globs and nobody knows who their kids are. So it makes it super difficult for them to figure out who is who. Who, which is kind of funny. And then um, Timmy, Timmy does this because he gets made fun of for his teeth and he gets his ball taken away from him by an evil dentist. So they try to get it back, but Timmy gets made fun of by, well, can't get it back because the dentist makes fun of him. And um, Timmy wishes everybody looked exactly the same. So then Timmy, uh, so then um, um, the dentist and his son wouldn't know the difference, but it doesn't end up working. And it's kind of funny, funny because even though everyone looks exactly the same, everybody, you can't change people's personalities. <laughs> Number two on my list would be talking trash. I like this one because um, I think this one's super funny just because Timmy accidentally makes, we, um, Timmy gets too much trash in his house and they cause like a crazy um, magic explosion. Like when he doesn't say I wish, his um, his stuff ends up going like turning magical. Like everything in his house turns magical. Like his lamp turns into a snake and it is kind of funny. And then you finally get a, you get a, to meet, um, Wanda's father for the first time, which is pretty cool. Cool, and I like the fact that they add new characters in the show, and I think that's awesome. Because sometimes it does get boring if you have the same characters over and over again in the show. So, but, so, so it's always nice to add different characters in an episode sometimes. Number three on my list would have to be Power Mad. I like this one because um, this one involves Timmy making a video game and Cosmo and Wanda use up so much power all around Dimsdale that the power goes out cr like crazy, crazy, and Timmy, sorry, um, the power goes out like crazy, crazy, just in order to get Timmy's video game working, working, so they have to, like, um, like, distract Vicky, who's trying to watch TV while Timmy is playing a video game, but the TV doesn't work because the power is completely out. So Tim, so Cosmo and Wanda decide to distract, to stall Vicky by being a, by being on TV and making up their own shows, which is pretty funny. Funny while Timmy tries to save um, Chester and AJ in a video game. Number four on my list would be Hassle in the Castle. I like this one because I think this is super funny because this episode involves Timmy being curious about what Cosmo and Wanda are hiding for him, from him. And so he sneaks into their castle to try to figure out what the surprise is. And he also ends up meeting a bunch of um, their, their older god kids like uh, from like the past they've had who were not very good. <laughs> Good. And I really like the fact that they added these other characters and you get a little history of Cosmo and Wanda, what other kids they had besides just Timmy and I think me or Denzel Crocker. And I think that's really awesome that it shows like all these different characters that you never actually knew about from Cosmo and Wanda. Number five on my list would have to be A Mile in My Shoes. I like this. I think this one's a pretty funny episode because Timmy switches places with Cosmo and Wanda. So then each of them gets an idea of how hard their lives are. Like, Timmy complains about how hard his life is, as opposed to Cosmo and Wanda, who work all day to give him wishes and everything. And I like the fact that Timmy puts himself in Cosmo and Wanda's shoes and sees how hard they have it rather than him. And I think that's pretty cool that when cool to put someone else in 
to go in someone else's shoes to see what their lives are like and not because not everybody has like the same lives as you think they do. Do you like try putting yourself in your parents shoes and see how hard they have to work to earn a house. Number six on my list would have to be nighty night. I really like this one because Timmy wishes he was in an actual medieval well, um, evil site after his Camelot fair turns out to be so lame, which is pretty funny. And I really like this because um, Timmy sees what the re what it was, what life was like in the Middle Ages, and they kind of make fun of the story of Arthur and the sword in the stone. And I really like that about this uh, episode because it um, it shows like some of the characters from like the sword in the stone, like Merlin, Arthur and Sir Lancelot, and I think that's pretty cool. And they make fun of like all the characters in the show, like Sir Lancelot loses an arm all the time, or um, Sir Lancelot is pretty weak, and then Arthur can't see anything. And I think that's pretty funny how they kind of make fun of all the characters in the show too, to just add a little humor. Number seven on my list would have to be Pipe Down. I think this episode's pretty funny because Timmy's trying to make a, um, a, um, model of the Eiffel Tower out of Lego blocks and every time he does it he gets distracted by really loud noises and um he can't finish finish his Eiffel Tower block which makes him super mad because he works really hard on it and anytime he tries to finish it he is distracted by loud sounds so sounds like people yelling at him or people playing really loud music or people making really loud noises which drives him crazy so he decides to have it all everybody's the sound all gone away so then um he doesn't have to deal with it but this causes problems when everybody's unaware of a meteor coming to dimsdale which makes it 10 times worse sorry if i give it out for those who haven't seen it okay and i'm glad timmy learns a lesson how important it is to have sound Number eight on my list had to be Kung Timmy. I think this one's pretty funny because Timmy learns how to do Kung Fu in order to defend himself. Self, and I like the fact that he tries everything he can to do Kung Fu and like his dad teaches him how to be, um, d how to defend himself. And I love the fact that when he's using Cosmo and Wanda as his headband and belt, he, they teach him how to use Kung Fu for for um, defense and never for vengeance. And I think that's pretty cool. I've never done Kung Fu. So if you guys know anything about Kung Fu, let me know down in the comments below because I'm curious to know if Kung, uh, know the difference between Kung Fu and Karate. Please let me know. Number and nine on my list would have to be Emotion Commotion. I really like this one. I think this one's pretty funny because Timmy hates having emotions because he gets like embarrassed, especially embarrassed and he thinks the emotions are a little too much for him, but Little does he know is that his emotions are a very important part of him because it shows his love. It shows a show his emotions show how important it is to live with them. And um, he doesn't want emotions because he thinks emotions are really bad. But then later he learns how important it is to have his emotions are to have. And emotions are a very important thing to have in your life because it shows that you care about people, it shows that you um, care about your life, and it shows how important it is to care for yourself. Number 10 on my list had to be a bad case of diarrhea. And I'm gonna spell this so people don't think I'm saying the other word. So it's spelled D-A-I-R hyphen U-A. So I'm just spelling it that way so then you guys don't think that, so I can even show you. You on the paper. So this is what the episode's name is. I'm not saying the other word, just so you guys know. So I think this is a pretty funny episode because Timmy gets revenge on Vicky after she humiliates him by knowing his deepest, darkest secrets. Like he's afraid of clowns and he's um, creeped out by things and he's allergic to oranges. So he decides to teach Vicky a lesson by getting revenge on her and having her reveal her d deepest, darkest secrets. So he gets a hold of her diary in order to get revenge on Vicky. And it's never good to read somebody's diary, even if you want to get revenge on them. But this is pretty funny. I think this episode's kind of funny because Vicky has like a lot of a lot of like secrets you don't even really know about her her and she actually blurts them out because she's being forced to do it <laughs> and it's pretty funny and Timmy does this to teach Vicky a lesson about how not to 
to um, get a hold of his secrets. And neither of them really actually learn anything from their experiences, but it makes it really funny. Funny because they, Timmy tries to teach Vicky a lesson, but it doesn't work out and he fails. Number 11 on my list would have to be Spaced Out. I like this one because it introduces the alien character Mark Chang. And I love the fact that, um, that he has a love for Vicky because she's evil. Well, and I love the fact that he doesn't really want to be evil. Evil, he just wants to be with Vicky. And so he literally, like, um, brain fade. Will do anything to please her as well as try to get Timmy, um, Chester, and AJ out of his way because they, they try to fight him, but he won't. He refuses to fight them because <laughs> he wants to just be with Vicky. <laughs> I really like that. So, um... So I definitely check, suggest you guys check these episodes out if you haven't seen them. They're really, really funny. And again, if you want to see my top 11, my first top 11 Fairly Odd Parents episodes, I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. So those are my top 11. That was my updated top 11 Fairly Odd Parents episodes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for a while, and I'm sorry this video is so long. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for all and I'll see you next video soon. Bye!